Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 39 of our slow and immersive playthrough of Baldur's Gate 3. We are playing a duo honor mode playthrough together with Gaming for Immersion. I am playing as the rogue Finden Fastfellow, the known arcane trickster. And Mike from Gaming for Immersion is playing as Linus Leftwich, the famous thief. And we've made our way through the first map into the Underdark. We've encountered Myconids in the previous episode. And yeah, there seems to be a whole bunch of people in this camp that want a certain group of Dwerga uh, dead. And therefore, we've agreed to help them. And that's, uh, yeah, that's what we are on our way to do. Yep, let's do it. Not much to it. It's gonna, just business, you know, nothing personal. Yeah, that's how I see it. Now, there are still these spores around on the floor to... Uh. To keep an eye on here, these are swarming toadstools, I guess. So those are actually good for us. Those are al alchemical reagents. Since, okay. So let's go ahead and grab these. Okay, let's proceed carefully. There is also that borrower. Let's not forget about that. Oh yeah, that's right. Actually, I wouldn't I mind fight whatever that is. I wouldn't mind fighting it while we have this guy. Here yeah, this us. guy with us. Yeah. I'm kind of looking over the edge. I see this tree here, which looks incredibly beautiful. Right. By the way, we need to find that bark in the Underdark as well, remember? To craft some... Oh, yeah, yeah, I forget yeah. what the bark is called. Oh, we've got a deep hole here. Where, where are you? Where, where, where? You're, you've gone off to the side. Right, right over here. Let me come with you. I think the dwerg got actually in a different direction. Oh, and there's a chasm creature. That's another... That's a reagent as well, right? Oh, a deep hole that we can actually climb through. I don't want to... Do you want to go down a deep hole? Uh, yeah, let me, let me check it out. I'm going to go into a stealth mode here. I'll check it out. I'm sure that the Sovereign Glut there cannot follow us, probably. Yeah. see them in the darkness. It's impossible to tell how deep it goes by sight alone. Yeah, I would okay, go with hello. Yeah, I think you scream into it, see what comes out. Oh, it could be, could it, could it be, could it be the home of that thing that keeps running around? Yeah, that's, that's, Ooh. yeah, that's what I'm wondering. No, 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 let's, no, let's not trigger it. I can listen. Okay, go ahead. But I thought you'd have to. I mean, it's got these bones next to it. Yeah. No, I would leave. I don't think we want to confront it just yet. And I, I think this is like the way to this tree. Where we're, but whereas if we come back a little bit, there is a way down. Because they say it's lake ward. So we need to find a lake somewhere. And lo looking further a yeah, little bit there's, ahead. There's that's... definitely something special about that tree, isn't there? Yeah. I don't see a lake, but, but I see a way down into the underdog. And there's blood. Oh, I see a, a, a body. So Dwerga must be somewhere that way. Okay. All right. Works for me. I think. You want me to scout ahead? Uh, go ahead. Your way ahead of me. Sorry. I'm going back into stealth mode because that really cost me not being in stealth when the spectator popped out. Yeah, I actually should do the same. I mean, the thing is, we have this guy now with us. Uh, yeah, we have a dead mic in it here. Dead, dead Dwerger here. Okay, this is where the fight took place. Yep, indeed, okay. Um, we can loot them later. I'm not worried about looting just yet. Yeah. Okay, I'm still not seeing any vision codes. Oh, 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 it's oh, coming to you. down. Careful, yeah. We gotta be careful. That thing is gonna come out sooner or later. He mm. just went right by me, though. Hmm. I mean, they All were right, digging well, for something. I'm just looking down there. I guess, are those boats? Is this a lake? Is this some sort of village? Is that, like, the mine? Okay, I, I see a vision cone up ahead. Uh, okay. Okay, this is a... Oh, hello. What are you? A hook whore, level four. Any idea what a hook whore is? I saw one of the zombies like in a, Myconid camp. It's like a little ostrich. It looks ostrich. like a, a skeki. You probably don't know who a skeki is, but... No. There's an old movie called The Dark Crystal. Jim no. Henson movie. Um, and he look, that's what he looks like. <laughs> They're evil in that movie. He doesn't look friendly, I can tell you that. Dread he's got a name up. called a book whore, so I'm guessing he's not friendly. So yeah. we could either keep going this way, or I could check what the other path. No, no, I think we need to check the other path. Because that's okay. where that mine is. No, I think those those decrepit buildings down there, I think that's the mine 
or I don't know, some sort of ruins of a mine that the gnomes were using. Right, where are you going? Oh, yeah. Okay, I, I thought just, you were going to... I just had to grab a, gotcha. a uh, chasm creeper. You can loot the, uh, the yeah. bodies while I'm scouting late if you want. Agree. Okay. I'm hearing noises. Is that, is that our friend? Made that weird noise? I can. Do some work. Camp with the band. Decrepit village. Got these glowing gems here. I guess they're really nothing. Oh, there's more bodies out there. Yeah. Yes, there are. Okay. Executed deep gnome. I think we have found ourselves. Dwar Dwargar. Are. Okay. I'm gonna start going down here. I just realized something kind of terrifying. Dwergar can be invisible. Oh. That's a racial ability that they have. Is it? No. I think so. Can't be invisible. I think, I think so. I'm up. At least in the previous version. That's the case. All right. I um. I'm not Executes seeing. Executes a deep gnome. Jeez. I'm not seeing anybody so far. Yeah, we'll, we gotta go further. Yeah, there must be. I mean, they chased. Wait, hang on. There's actually a way down here. Or there's a rope netting. Okay, let me do that. Let's see. We either go yes. down there. Wait, hang on. What do we see at the bottom there? There is a bunch of dead dwergas and a sort of a collapsed mine. But if we go down there, we're already down at the bottom. I think we are better off approaching from here because we always have the high ground and we always have a way to. Okay. Run. What do you think? Alrighty. So we come back to basically where we were. Because I feel like all of these are basically leading, yeah, into yeah, this I, village. Yeah, I don't love the idea of climbing down the netting, that's for sure. Okay. Yeah, let's just proceed. Okay. Oh. Carefully. We need to make sure we have the jump on these dwergo, not the other way around. Still no vision cones. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, trap. You found a trap? Uh, well. Oh, I see a dwergo. I, I, I don't see the trap, unfortunately. I made a comment, but I was spinning my camera around and I didn't see where it is. And I don't see the, like, the. Okay. How it calls attention to whatever it is you just spotted. Okay, I'm, I don't want to come too close because I don't want the glut to trigger this whole thing. Okay, defeat. Okay, our journal just updated, and for some reason I got pulled out of stealth. Go okay, back so the journal now says... We found the Dwergar in the ruins of an abandoned settlement. Oh, it's because they're ambushing. So this guy, you see this guy? Gek Gol, Cole, 80 HP. He actually has a... A condition no, ambushing. Him. You don't see him? He's sitting no. on the edge. Oh, here. oh, there, there he is. Okay. Yeah. So you see, as a condition ambushing. What does that mean? Affected entity will attack as soon as its enemies are within reach. It can only be spotted with a successful perception check. Oh, maybe that's their ability, like you said. So you see, yeah, they are basically yeah, it invisible. Could, it could be. Thing. Now he's he's yellow also, but I tell you what's a little weird here is that I cannot. Every time I go into stealth, it immediately takes me right back out again. Not Does that good. make any sense to you? No. Like, watch. Yeah. Well, that, no, okay, now that time it, di it didn't. Something is So somebody you? who's invisible pulled Ooh. me out of stealth. Okay, okay, but don't, 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 wait, wait. Let's read about this guy first. Hang on, he's got... So they have poison, we have poison resistance. Dwergo resilience. You have advantage on saving throws against illusions and against... He the... is... He is level 7. He's got intelligence of 18. What? Strength of 16. Is he a caster? Dwergo Slave Hunter. Jeez, he's got Wisdom of 9. That's good. So I might be able to put Tasha's Laughter on him. I think... Wait, hang on. Yeah, Wisdom Save. Yeah, I might make him laugh. He's got Superior Dark Vision, so 24 meters. He's got Sunlight Sensitivity. While in sunlight, this creature has disadvantage on attack rolls and perception checks that, that rely on sight. 
Uh, I don't think there's a way to get sunlight onto him, is there? Scourge of uh, Not pests. unless you have a spell that does it. Deals an additional 1 to 6 fire damage to plants, insects, or small creatures. <laughs> okay. Grim Harvest. Once per turn, if you kill a creature with a spell, you gain hit points equal to twice the spell slot level used. Thrice if it's a necromancy spell. Undead and constructs are unaffected. So we can't let him kill any creatures. Otherwise, he heals massively, basically. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, whatever... Can't be charmed, paralyzed, can't be, and no poison. So no point in coating. I mean, we might coat ourselves with accuracy. Yeah. Uh, Whatever uh, he's fighting against is likely to be us. So hopefully he doesn't yeah. get any kills. Well, he's not the only one out here, right? He's also in no, large. That, that, so that's, what, that's what concerns me is we know there's, well, I, we can assume there are others. Uh, okay, give me a sec. Sizes increase weapon attacks, deal an additional 1d4 damage. The affected entity has advantage on strength checks, carrying capacity increase by 25%. I'm going to detach myself from from Clute and my arm. Can I even do that? I don't think I can detach myself from Clute. Glut, unfortunately. Or can I? Wait, hang on. I'll tell you what I'm a little tempted to do is shoot, shoot him from here. And then just run as fast as I can back in this direction. Because they'll have to chase us up through, up along this path, and we can get them in a choke point here. Yeah, I guess ideally they would all be coming kind of through here, right? And we'd be just backing up and shooting them. Yeah, I, ideally. But I don't think we want to be fighting him down here because they could come from all around us. We just don't know where they might be. Yeah, because yeah, we don't want to like jump straight into that. I agree. Yeah, maybe we do that because I can't sneak close to do a, a sneak attack myself because the guy is tagging along with me all the time. You oh, see? okay. Yeah. So. All right. Well, I mean, assuming that I win initiative, then I can just run. Although, if we, if he is surprised, I could possibly get a second round. Yeah, and then I could come over as well and, and shoot. Well, I'm happy to try it if. Uh, yeah, as if the worst happens, do. we retreat. But I feel like this guy's gonna do spells. He's got high intelligence. He's got also got mage oh, armor. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. He's got mage armor. He's definitely gonna cast spells. Okay. Uh, however, we could. Let's see here. I guess the only. I could roaring thunder him. Ooh. That might knock him off the edge. Yeah, yeah. As long as he doesn't heal himself. But yeah, yeah. I think that's actually a good idea. Let's do it. Okay, well, why don't I try that? Yeah, it would be... Yeah, I think that's a really good idea, actually. It'll take him ages to get up here as well. I've got 96% chance here to hit. Nice. And this is weird. It is... The direction that it is looks like it would be bouncing him... It's hard for me to tell, but it, it looks like it's not going to actually bounce him off the edge. Why? Well, why actually, it's not. S sorry. Uh, first of all, I don't think there's actually any point because he's has what? strength. And he's in oh. Got someone oh. sneaking up on us. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, you have to attack. Yeah. I guess he spots. He must have been patrolling, and he did spot you in the end. All right. I could uh, try to hold up my hand, my palms in peace, or I could attack. Uh, wait. Hang on. I'm going to quit your dialogue. And just see what's going on. So, ah, uh, he, uh, he, he went up the net that you were in front of. No, actually, he's behind. Oh, okay. No, he's standing behind you, right up in your face. By the way. Yeah. He so, cutscene as well. Yeah. I guess you're gonna have to just just attack him. Maybe that gives you initiative. Yeah. There was no I... point in shooting, in doing thun thunder thing because the guy is enlarged and he's got strength, so it's it has advantage on strength checks which means he would never be okay, pushed so he off. would not have failed anyway but yeah. uh i mean again holding up my hands and my palms in peace is, is there i mean give it a go maybe you can talk yourself out i of mean this. if I, I think we know what's going to happen if i do attack i don't see how holding up my palms in peace is going to result in anything worse we'll do it that. yeah yeah go ahead what's this got ourselves an infiltrator you move pretty quietly. Not quietly enough for my liking, though. Noise gets you eaten down here. Reckon All I'll right, well, there we go. before something hungry comes along. 
His gnarled oh. fist grips an axe. Ooh, you could have killed well, him before I... he even noticed you. Exactly. Intimidation. Yeah, I, d I don't... Did it move me down a level? Well, yeah, it looks like you're now at the very bottom because they walked you down there. Uh, okay, prisoner. see, I... Yeah. This is one thing that this game does that drives me crazy. Yeah, it's like, it's just... I, I absolutely would not have walked deeper into yeah. their camp by putting my hands up. Yeah. Um, I would have rather just attacked him at that point, but... It well, reminds fine. me you of can when, always, yeah. Of you can miss this gut put put you to spell, to put you to sleep, yeah. and then carried you away, and I didn't get a chance to do anything about it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I could. I'll just say well, intimidation. I don't think fa... Or or yeah, I'll do one. No, actually, reason with him. Let's see what he says. I think. Y you yeah, can I just want to see what he does. Fine. I'll let you live, but spoil my hunt, and you're dead. Terrain ahead, like. No, what are you doing here? Yeah, let's ask him. Told what you, hunting. Slave ran away. Took Sergeant Thrin's boots. Okay. Gotta kill the slave and fetch back the leather. Or well, the bosses in Moonrise will have Thrin's hide. Ah, gotcha. Ooh. Maybe I could help. Maybe you. Maybe you can just give him the boots. Oh, did we sell help? them? Help. You don't even know what you'd be up against. I think I sold the boots. Slaves got herself some protection. You sold them? <laughs> hiding up there in a myconid circle. Okay. Can't get past those rock flowers. They get in your head, make you see things. Half my squad jumped off a cliff, laughing. Let me have a look oh, in my inventory. Here. She'll make a run for it eventually. Then I'll get her. Really kill someone for a pair of boots. I'll help you. I don't work for free. You're either brave or stupid to be worried about your purse in these parts. Get those boots. Then we can talk rewards. Maybe you'll even be allowed into the absolute's ranks. Oh, he's got the pendant, yeah. Okay. At this point, I'm tempted to just hit number three and count my blessings and get out of here. No, let's, let's, you, I think you're like, you know friendly with him you found a common language you can talk to him what does this runaway look like or who is this sergeant thrin you mentioned let me have a look if i still have the boots hang on just give me a sec or did i actually sell them i don't remember yeah i think we did sell them unfortunately. well I, i'll tell you what i don't love is he's looking down at me so i'm all the way down yeah. at the bottom level but he lets there. he let you go it's fine it's like we actually this worked out for the better so what okay, is let this? Let me know when you're back in the. Yeah, uh, I'm back. Here. I'm back in the dialogue. Yeah, I would go. She's with the rest of our expedition across the lake. Special mission for the absolute. Yeah, we got a lot out of him. Yeah, what does this runaway look like? Oh, he just left. Well, and and now it popped me back up here where I was previously. Okay. Uh, well, hang on. I'm I'm just gonna enter turn-based mode just because we can always exit it. But we could start off with Lurgan and just take yeah, him out. Yeah, we could. And then Glot, he said he can raise them, right? So, which, which is what exactly what the other sovereign did. Yeah. So we could take yeah. out Lurgan, raise him, and that will be our that will be a good start to this fight. Okay. Because I think there's, I mean, we basically don't know, but they're like all over here, you know, like these these Dwerga, right? Yeah. We only spotted uh, as one. Far, I mean, I have no idea how many there are, but. Uh... Considering he walked right up on me without me ever seeing him makes me assume that there are more that are invisible to us. Yeah. So we can, yeah, we can shoot him. I mean, I'm going to do a sneak attack. That's going to do 9 to 31. And then you okay. can well, finish you him off. You may as well do it. Yeah, you may as well do it here while I'm right beside him, I guess. Well, or you walk away, take an advantageous position because... Do if you it... not get any advantage at all for being... For him being threatened by me, uh, I don't think so. I'm eight. I guess, I'm I guess he's percent. not. I, he's not actually threatened as long as combat hasn't started yet. Yeah, so. I can also move my hand there at like any time if I really wanted to. But I think we're fine. What? Why? Oh, this is interesting. Let's see. Do I still have my shield equipped? I do. Okay. All right. I wish it. Uh, I wish it showed my shield. On my on my model. Oh, oh so come not... come on! Uh, I moved Glut into a better position, and it triggered combat. 
Um, but it is. Well, that's terrible. No, it's well. No, it's okay. It's the same well, as we, it we, would have been. It's just. But uh, well, we have we have no surprise on them. Oh man. But he he wasn't even looking this way. Uh, yeah, sorry, that was my bad. Well, look, I'm gonna open up with a sneak attack on Lurgan. I'm not yeah, sure we would have surprised. Not, you're you're not in combat. Yeah, I'm right not now. in combat. Yeah, Lurgan. Oh, sorry. Um, the the yeah, mushroom. So, so, yeah. So be aware that when you join this combat, you're gonna go after they do. That's fine. That's fine. We okay. we kill Lurgan. Let's kill Lurgan, what, and then we deal minute, with who, the rest. Who is who is novice Garmore? Oh, he's group. invisible somewhere. Yeah. Lur Lurgan. Then we have Holvik, who is also invisible. So two of them are invisible. And then we've got Gek Cole. And we've got Lurgan, who are visible. So yeah. two invisible and two visible. Yeah. And of course, Gek Cole is level seven. So he's yeah. going to be an issue. He's going to be an issue. But if we kill Lurgan, yeah. then, we, then we get to find out what uh, Sovereign Glut here can do. Here. Yeah. I was thinking of thunder, thunder waving him with the arrow, but I think we want his corpse to be close, right? So he... So that, Probably, yeah. yeah. Okay, well, let me... Uh, I mean, are you going to melee him or are you going to shoot? I think you're better off shooting, well, no? Yeah, I think so, too. Okay, so I'm going to back up here. I guess here's the question. We can't see the two invisible ones, so I don't know for sure if I'm safe to do a cunning action hide here, but I'm going to try to. That, that will give me the chance to do a sneak attack. Yeah, I'm thinking, do I put an oil of accuracy now with my bonus so that we actually use it? We always keep saving it. I mean, I feel like this Gek Cole, I'm a bit scared of him. I feel like he's going to be trouble. Yeah. We don't know how many. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm scared of him too. He's level seven and he's a magic user, but plus he's got a giant axe in his hand. Okay, I am going to... Um, I'm going to be able to do a sneak attack here. I only have an 80% chance to hit. Really? Wow. So should we both do an oil of If you, put, if you, if you move the accuracy? mage hand, can you move the mage hand next to Lurgan? Uh, it's out of movement. Oh, no, wait. No, I can't. Sorry, I can't. No, he's, he's not in combat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No. Okay, that, that, that has no effect then on my percentage. I think we should okay. each put uh, some oil of accuracy on our weapons. Well, I don't have a bonus action to do it. Uh -huh. I mean, I have one bonus action left, but I'm going to be moving away from where they can slaughter me. So, um, I'm going to use a uh, an arrow of acid. You might want to move your hand away. Slash it. I've got seven of these. Yeah, I guess, yeah. So it's important to get this guy because we'll yeah, then we raise a zombie. Dead. Yeah. Do it. Okay, nice. 23 points to him. Oh, no. Yeah, 23. Okay. okay I'll, I'll shoot He's him got then. 16. You, you should be able to finish him off probably. Okay, very good. Yeah. I'm in combat. I'm with you in the initiative order. You are, but I think you're not going to go until the end of the first turn. I think uh, that's what we've learned. Well, I've just gone and I've just went into the initiative, so I'll go next time. I'll just hide again and stay where I am. Okay. And then we'll we'll see, we'll see who's right, but I don't think you're going to get a chance to make your turn until after the the Dwer guard. No. Uh... Starting in starting in the second turn. Up. Oh, okay, I take it back. No, but I'm right. yeah, I'm literally like in in it now. Like, like yeah, I can okay, still move, enough. for example. Yeah. I don't. Okay. So I don't understand anymore. I thought that uh, somebody yeah. had even confirmed about what I had said before about when you join a combat late. Yeah, shall we fall back then and make yeah, I, I, blood I think take so. all the damage, right? I guess why not? Yeah, that's, that's how I feel. Yeah, okay. All right, and yeah. I'm going to cutting action dash and move up here a little bit higher. And that's probably far enough. Yeah. Damn ending as well. Get coal. Animate dead. Okay. Oh, we don't want him that's to use, not, it, use up our corpse, though. That's not great. They're only level one, but they have 28 hit points. Oh, oh, 
Pilatus. Okay, Holvik is was he was inside that house. That was the guy that was hiding. What is go? How many reanimated corpses are there? You there kidding? are seven. Okay, I think we need to take out Gekko, and they will disappear, right? Probably, yeah. But we need we need to animate Lurg in there. Yeah. Okay. So so I'm yeah. So I have the action for Glut. He has a multi attack. Wow. He does between twelve and fifty two damage. Oh wow. Aim okay. multiple attacks at a prone target. So we need to make this. Or animate spores. Release the spores at the corpse to animate it as spore servants under your command. Target is too far. Oh, we need to be like. Oh man, you need to be like right next to him. Oh, is that an action or a bonus action? It is an action. So okay. I'm, so I'm so, gonna I'm so gonna jump. Can't... Yeah. So he can't dash and get over there. No, I'm gonna jump over the fire so he doesn't get hurt. Okay. Or I could just jump in the face of Holvik and like deal with him. But no, I guess Where is I, he? so. Holvik is in here. I think I think oh, me, I, I, me and I, you I, will deal with Holvik yeah. while Glut yeah. tries to make it to this guy. I'm just afraid that he's gonna die next turn if he, because he's only has he's got he, half his HP left. Yeah, he very well might. He okay, very fine. Well might. Let's jump over this way. Oh wait, maybe I can actually make it. And reanimate. Yes, I can. Oh. oh Silence. Yeah, I still don't understand how jump even works. Forget about joining. It's a combat. bonus action, and I think it takes part of your movement. Yeah, I thought it would take all of your movement. Yeah. Okay. No, it only takes part of it. Part of it. Okay. Fine. Well, then Glut just kind of is gonna stand there. That's gonna be his turn. I'm gonna end it. Next is uh, Novice Garmer. 67 HP. He's invisible. Yeah, I think he must be somewhere at the bottom and he's coming up here. Okay. No idea what yeah, he's moving. What he's doing. Yeah. Okay. Okay, it's Yeah, right. see see this is interesting. You do have Oh no, this is not you, this is Lurgan, okay. Alright. The Lurgan, however, has four level one spell slots, three level two, two level three, but he doesn't have any spells on him. He does have, he's a cleric, it seems. Well, the only thing he can really do. Well, he's a sports servant, so he's apparently limited in what he can yeah. do. Yeah. He can be a meat shield is what he can be. Yeah, I guess I'm going to try and just make my way make my way to Hof, Hof guy, right? So I'm gonna jump. And then... I mean, what can I do? I can just run here, that's about it. I could I could dash with an action, but uh, it's not enough to reach that guy anyway, so... Well, the, but he might as well, because that guy's using a, a ranged weapon, so at the very least it'll force him to yeah. disengage or switch weapons. Right. I mean, unless we want to shoot some arrows at that guy later. But fine, yeah, I'll just come here. Well, I mean, plus he should be threatening him now, so we would have uh, yeah. advantage. Okay, I'm going to end this turn. Okay, They're all, all dashing. Oh my god. Okay, that's... We need to take care of that. Oh, man. We could get a bunch of them with one big AOE, probably. Yeah, we got that bomb, by the way. And we have like something like Grease plus bomb, right? Yeah, maybe. But it would be much better and more efficient to get rid of Gek Ko. Man, if only we shot him, opened up combat on him. Well, I was about ready to when that yeah, I know. came out of nowhere. And... That's life. That's um, life, exactly. Okay, I'm going to... Come a little bit closer. I have line of sight. Yeah, I got 99% and a sneak attack on Holvik. Could hit him with okay. an arrow of some sort. All right. I think we need it, right, to get 45%, 45 points of damage. Yeah. What, what should I use on him? Acid. I have five sure. acids. Yeah, it's gonna splash onto the other guy, but yeah, he's of limited value anyway. Okay, what do we get? 
the camera unhelpfully was showing me something completely different. So I got okay, you him. Did, you did 20, 24 points of damage. Good. Not great, but he's down to 21. Yeah, I think you should be able to Can get him. Can you move from where you are? Because that's... Yeah, yeah, I can. I can. That, uh, that's the closest. Well, I don't actually. You might not have had to. Hang on. That means. Well, I'm gonna hide anyway and break line of sight. And I think. The thing is. Let me see if if I move to here. Let me see if he's within my range. He is in my range. Oh no! Are still, you sure? This was just about no, it, for me. Yeah. So you gotta it, be. It still wants me to move. Yeah. In order to be able to see him. That's so strange because where you shot from, you were able to hit him. Yeah, you should, but you have 15 meters of range, so maybe it's telling you to be like within range. Yeah, no, no, it wants me to move. I, I guess that must. No, it depends what part of him I hover over. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. A minute ago, it had me moving before I fire. Now. Now I unfortunately, uh, or now I can hit him from here, but I am outside my range. Can you move a little bit closer for the sneak? Somewhere we, even here you can stand. I can't get that far without dashing. Or jumping. And even there, I, and from oh, there yeah. I don't think, yeah, yeah. I don't think I'm gonna be able to see him. From you're here. right, you're right. Oh, we need to so, kill him, ideally. I cannot so. sneak attack him though. I don't have the manager. And if I move. Well, uh, well, you can sneak attack him because you don't need to hide. You can sneak attack because there's someone sitting next to him. But yeah, I guess you're, well, you're, talking, you're talking about it, it range. Is, it is not allowing me. As long oh, as you come yeah, closer, okay, okay, you don't okay, need to hide. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, all right, fair enough. Yeah, you're right. Okay, so let me do that then. Let me come to here. Um, I come to here. Okay, very good. 21, I do 11 through 31. I think I should use another arrow as well. 11 through 31. We've, 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 we've got, yeah, we've got plenty of them. Yeah, I guess not. Because Glot can also raise him. Yeah. That, okay. He, he's he's dead. Nice. All right. And there's one more Dwarga that was invisible. Nothing will stand. In and way. and this get coal. Yeah. That we have to deal with. Okay. Well, I'm ending my turn. Well, I still have bonus actions Jeez. here. Yeah, I There's probably cold. no reason for me to not shoot at a reanimated corpse. I mean, yeah. Well, I can shoot you a glowing gem. What happens if you shoot a glowing gem? I any doubt. Idea? Any, I doubt anything. Particularly or probably interesting. nothing. Okay, yeah. it's got resistances anyway. Is there any point at all in shooting one of the reanimated corpses with a bonus action? Probably not. Um, I mean, I would shoot one because we if if this this guy. I mean, we need like two turns to get him unless we drink like potions of speed. So, you know, I feel like I did. I did five points. And every little bit counts. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Let's see how we can get through to him next turn. Maybe you missed his step in his face, and then I follow up somehow. You want me to misty step down into the middle? Of not seven? yet. Not yet. Let's let's see. Let's see. They like. We'll, yeah, we're gonna have to see. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cunning action dash a little bit farther back up here. Oh yeah, shall I? I can also walk a little bit further up. I feel like we're sacrificing Glut, basically. I think he's gonna go down. Yeah, well, I don't think we have much choice. He's got five more reanimated corpses that are gonna be coming up the ladder on him. Yeah, I guess we're gonna lose but, XP though if he dies. But, no? Why would we lose XP? Because we won't never complete that quest. As in, like, not lose, but okay. not well, gain. I'm, I'm more concerned about, I guess, surviving the battle. Yeah. But yeah, I, I see your point. Yeah, we. I don't know if we're going to get a reward from him. 
The it's the other sovereign that promised us a reward. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Blindness, which is great actually, because you can still cast your reanimation spell yeah. with blindness. So I can disengage. Oh, disengage is an action for this guy. Man. Okay. And yeah, he needs an action to well, release spores. Yeah, I mean, can he just go ahead and take the, the opportunity attacks and, and still reach? Um, what, what's his name to animate it? To animate him? Uh, Hol Holvik? Yeah, I'm not. How much damage I don't, could I don't think he's going to be close enough, yeah. He, he'll if come, he's not he close can, enough, then, then he may as well disengage. Yeah, he can come up to here, but that's. I, I mean, that, it's like right on the edge. He might, maybe that's enough. But I frankly doubt. I'm going to try it. I mean, they're attacking with hands, yeah. He should be okay, right? Yeah. Okay, let's try it. Or he could also... <laughs> Six points. I was going to say, he could also jump. But... Okay, so he took 13 points. Oh, Close he's enough. right on the edge. <laughs> it's like right at the tip of his toes. Come on. Give me one more step. Glut. Come on. Oh, well. No, it's like right at the tip. Yeah. Right, let me point at the tip now. Ah. Oh. It's literally like five pixels. <laughs> oh well, it is what it is. Wait, I could wait. Oh, I should. I should have jumped. I should have jumped. But um, uh, I, I, I was even about to say. Sorry, you could yeah. Probably jump I, out I, of it. Because I don't but... know how jump works. Because that would have used a bonus. Yeah. Oh, come on, man. We just took like a whole bunch of damage for nada. Okay, it is what it is. Ending the turn. Well, you know, if he survives. We could also throw a healing potion down there on him. Yeah, could do. Okay, should we press upon Gek Cole with this guy and just occupy him and just annoy him? Maybe try to shove him off. That, which... Well, you said he's strong. Yeah, he's large. strong. Yeah, but what do we do with uh, this guy? What's his name? Uh, what's his name? L Lurgan. 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 Yeah. Uh, I mean. Glut has a better chance of surviving, maybe, if Lurgan closes in with the reanimated corpses. Yeah, I guess he could just tank them for us, right? For as long as he survives, anyway. Slo slows them down and gets them something like that. Oh, oh, yeah, he could even attack. Okay. Three oh, points. Man. Okay. Three points. Okay, ending the turn. Yeah, they're just gonna overwhelm him. Okay, well, good thing they all got bunched up there, so yeah, there is a way to Yeah, take I think them this out. is gonna this is gonna block. No, they, unfortunately. It's good yeah, it's gonna give what another round to survive, I think. Yeah, they oh they didn't even attack him, okay, so they all dashed instead. Yeah. That's interesting. Well, we definitely have them all in one place now if we wanted to do uh, an AoE. Yeah. Well, I think we're going to have to because I don't think there's a way to get to Gek without dealing with them unless we use that spell I bought with teleport and they, we like teleport all the way behind next to Gek and start, and start hitting him hard. They have a very low dex. I'm kind of tempted to throw Grease down there. Yeah, can do. We also have a web grenade, by the way. I mean, I could throw a grease bottle and get six of them with it. But then after we throw, do we, so do we want to kill them? Right? I guess we do, right? You throw a grease, well, then I, sh I shoot a fire, uh, and we just light them up and we take them out. Well, I mean... If they fall prone, what can he... Oh, he just has increased damage against prone yeah. targets. Is but it's that massive. Right? He will take out one of them for sure. It's like 52 damage. Yeah, but we probably want him to use his action to animate the other corpse. Yeah, yeah. So maybe... I mean, I'm, I, I was just thinking the grease bottle because they have a low dex and it could definitely, you know, make a bunch of them go prone. 
But I, th I, th I think it's a good idea. I mean, if we want to take them out, if the decision is to take them out rather than try to bypass them and and kill, uh, get coal such that they then, you know, lose yeah, their we don't enemies. really have we don't have a good way to get to him. I yeah, so I we're gonna like... have to fight him. Yeah, let's let's throw a grease like right in there. Yeah, I'm, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw it where it's gonna hit all all of them. Yeah, of them. yeah, yeah. Nice. Okay, so so four of them went down. So did uh, Morgan, but that's fine. Yeah. So now, so now I what? I shoot a fire arrow on this guy, for example. It it's gonna like blow all of them up and set them on fire and do as much damage. Well, it's as not it's not gonna blow them all up. Unfortunately, it's just gonna set them on fire. Set I think. them on fire. Yeah. Hmm. Or do we throw that bomb? Do we want to use a smoke powder yeah, bomb on, on, these, yeah. on zombies? That's the thing. Not really. Okay, let me, let me, I think it's a fire arrow. Not, neither one of us have taken any damage yet, so... Yeah. Yeah, I, have, I only have two fire arrows, unfortunately. But yeah, if I hit this guy, he's prone. Yeah, I can actually hit all of them with a single fire arrow. I guess that's the answer, right? Let's do it. Uh, let's try. Okay, burning. And then, they're, they're all burning, oh, which is burning. good. One of them is going to die. He's got one HP. Yeah, okay, so that's good. Yeah. I still have my two bonus attacks here. Yeah, I still got to hide. So I can hide and pull back. Right, I think that's it. That's option for me by the way i almost forgot to move my hand such that it doesn't get smacked by anyone i'm gonna move it completely out of the way over here uh, okay, but yeah. i'm gonna fire twice at the reanimated corpse that is uh, standing and the one closest to glut uh, or yeah. Should I just, or should or should I hit what the one with fifteen? Fifteen, yeah. Maybe the one that's prone, yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll hit the one with fifteen. I was gonna say he's he's prone, so he's yeah. less of an immediate threat. But so we need to burn down their numbers. Yeah. And in this case, we're literally literally burning down their numbers. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna shoot him. Nice one. Oh, I can sneak attack with. I forgot. I can sneak attack even though it was a bonus action attack because I didn't use my. Oh yeah, we'll do that. Nice. Yeah. In that case, I Three. probably should have done done the uh, shot the one with twenty five points. Oh well. Right, yeah. All right, you, I'm gonna you go could ahead. Have you could have canceled in this case your sneak attack and then used it on the second uh, shot uh, for yeah, the future. Oh, well. Yeah, no worries, because you don't have to do it. All right. Well, I'm gonna I'm not gonna shoot the one that has one point, so I'm gonna shoot the one that has twenty five. Or thirteen. He was he was too far away. Oh, okay. I, was, I had a dis disadvantage against him. Cool. All right, and then I'm just going to use my movement to back up here. Okay, so we're whittling down their numbers a little bit, and Glut hopefully will survive long enough to animate the other one. Yeah, well, he only needs one turn. Yep. Okay. Okay. Blindness. Blindness again. That's great. Right, yeah, yeah, okay. So Glut, I want him to come here, reanimate Holvik. We're still waiting for the other, by the way, Novice Garmer. So there's one more Dwerga we have to uh, be mindful of. Oh, that's right, the one that's yeah, invisible. So, so let's be careful about that. But yeah, I am glad you reminded me of that. Yeah. So Glut is now, he just has movement. I'm gonna move him here to like block off the staircase. Okay. Right. There's nothing else for him to do, really, is there? No. Sure. That's gonna be him. Okay, so Garmer is Interestingly, still... interestingly, what you said about joining combat, the one he just raised joined combat with him, but didn't get a turn. Which is what you were predicting for me. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so it doesn't make a ton of sense to me, but... Yeah. Okay, we did complete, right. unfortunately, yeah. Oh, Glut died. Can you get your mage hand up here on the uh, reanimated corpse close to uh, you? Close to uh, me? Yes, I can. I can fly the, it there. The one that's bearing bearing down on me. Uh, 
this. I can. Well, one second. I don't want to pass over fire, so I'm just going to fly. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay, and so... Oh, there goes the timer. Alright, so now... I can... I can sneak attack with a 95% chance here to hit. Oh, he pulled me out I of feel like this is the one this is but the yeah. one to shoot since he's bearing down on me. Do you have any issues with that? Uh, no, I guess what I'm thinking. What are the I mean, alter alternatives are to shoot get Cole, start working on yeah, him, but, but I think no, I think I, we have to get rid of all of them. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, I don't I don't have any any way to get a sneak attack off of him, I don't think. Yeah. Go ahead. Beat this guy. Well, he's yeah. burning and he's down to two points. Yeah, he should burn to death. So use your bonuses what, is it, on is something it, else. Well, is it is it is it one to four that they take? Yeah, one to four. Well, then I I think I'd better finish him off. No, we gotta we gotta stay right. efficient. And he's he'll only hit you for like six, and he'll probably miss anyway. So I would I would use the fire to burn him down, and instead get one of these that are with like 15 HP. Get that guy low. I, um, we also have the one there that's at full health. I can, I can get him. I'll put my hand next to that and nice. Okay, seven points. Oh, what, 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 what Sorry. just happened? Sorry, that was my mage hand. I was trying to move it, and I thought it would move past that fire. Oh, it went into the fire and died. I was wrong. Oh, that was really bad. I thought I thought there was a path there, but it got, took damage and disappeared. That was really bad. Okay, the good news is that one is burning and it only has one hit point left. So that one's going to go down. This one right here with two hit points has a 75% chance of going down. All right, have you already taken your turn? No, I have not. So I'm thinking I was going to sneak attack this guy, but... Now I'm actually also thinking, can I, I oh, okay, it's 50% still. Tasha's laughter, even though, I mean, I just suck at spells. Wisdom save, and it's only 50% chance to uh, get get. Yeah, I, I feel like somebody pointed out that any spells that require saving throws, you're, you're going to be kind of unreliable. I mean, 50% is not, I mean, I could hold person, I could, it's a 50%, so I could hold him. I mean, if I cast it twice... It's a 75% probability, which is not too bad to just hold someone in place. Yeah, but... that, that, is that is certainly true. I mean, do you have do you have that spell, or is it a scroll? That it's, a scroll scroll, scroll. it's a scroll, scroll, it's a scroll. And how many scrolls do you have of that? Hold person, I have five. Okay. All right, so it's certainly an option. I have a scroll of shatter that could hit all three of those zombies down there as an area of effect. It could hit them for 3 to 24 damage. Although one of Did them they is get a pretty save? Much... No, no, this one is just... Uh... No, constitution save. Yeah, they do. Sorry, they do. And their constitution is 16. It's their highest <laughs> Yeah. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm trying to... I mean, I would like to, I, I think I can, if I shoot an arrow of ice at this guy, it will create an ice surface at the bottom of these steps, which everyone's yeah, going like, to have to run through. Yeah, I like that idea. Yeah. I think they're probably going to spend one turn finishing off um, Holvik down there. Yeah. And, uh, and so that buys us a little bit of time. Yeah. So if, if I come, I, like, here and I hide... Is it even possible for me to hide if I pass I, this I, check? I don't, I, I don't see how you'd be able to hide. If I pass I mean, a check? In, no? Well, um, I mean, we don't know it within the vision cone there. We don't know which is from the, uh, the reanimated corpses and which is from him. But I'm sure he's got dark vision, right? He's got superior dark vision. It can't be, yeah. So, I'll, I'll try so it. He, I would, mean... he, would, he would automatically see mm -hmm. you if, if, you're, if you move into his vision code. But you could try it. I mean, I have... Well, I can use one of my spell slots, since I never use them anyway, and I could... It's 95% to cast to hit this guy with a ice... With a thing that creates an ice surface. Is that oh. ice knife? Uh, no, it's the uh, orb. Oh, my okay. my uh, right. chromatic orb. Although, an arrow of ice does 88 to 21 damage. Uh, 
Okay, I'm gonna try and hide because I have nothing to do with my bonus action anyway, right? Okay, sure. Let, let's see if this actually works. It's cool. I can't go for nope. Obscured area due to dark vision, reanimated corpse. Okay, yeah, doesn't okay. work. Does not work. Yeah, I'm gonna hit this yeah, guy. Yeah, that's interesting. They, it doesn't tell us that they have dark vision, but I guess it logically makes sense that they would. Okay, well that's that's pretty good. He's down mm. to 11, and it created the ice surface. Yeah. All right, so yeah, I'm going to. I'm going to back up just a tiny little bit because Get Cole there does have line of sight on me. Okay. And I want to make him move into the fire surface at the very least before he can cast yeah. a spell on me, if that's what he wants to do. Yeah, I'll get on the and ice. It, and yeah. you're not hidden anyway, so it's not like I'm yeah. causing you any discomfort by backing up a little bit here. So yep. we presumably do want to finish this combat in this episode, yep. right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. All right. I think... Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and run the risk of this guy not no. burning to death. Fine. And if he wants to get an attack off on me, then he can. I'll live. Twenty-five percent chance. Let's see, get so what's cold. he going to do? He's going to cast blindness on me. To succeed. And I failed a saving throw. Well, it's not the worst that could happen. It's not great, Wait, but no, it's where's not the Hobbit? worst. Wait, but, but, but why did Hobbit just skip a turn? Oh, because he's now, he doesn't have the owner. Glot is dead, so he doesn't get a turn. Oh, okay. oh, oh, oh. All right, well, now they're on us. Oh, their fire went and out. And the one, the one that was on fire, you got to be kidding me. He took, he took one point of damage. Oh, did he? That's why I was tempted to finish him off. Okay. Okay. Well. Well, let's, uh. So you could, for, the, you could, you could, you could bonus action the guy in front of you, then kill the guy that's blocking I, I, me. I have, a, I have a ninety percent chance to hit even with blindness. Nice. Are you actually blinded? Is, you are. Can I? Is I, there any way to yeah, clear I, clear that from you? Ten turns, disadvantage on attack rolls, range of attacks reduced to three I'm, meters. I'm, 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 I'm fine with it. I'm, I'm, I'm fine with being blind. That guy's dead. Okay, let me no, no, hang main on. hand attack. I've got a 90% chance. Wait a minute. Why He's is not he not dead. dead? Yeah, he just healed for one. What? Yeah. Downed a reanimated corpse. Reanimated corpse was healed for one. What on earth just happened? Undead fortitude. Undead fortitude. When reduced to zero hit points, regain one hit point instead of... In Instead, instead, unless the damage was radiant or caused by a critical hit. So we're gonna have to hit every each yeah, now, one. Of them. Now he's dead. Now he's dead. Radiant. Okay, that one has eleven. I can hit him with a ninety percent chance. And I'm using the uh, this uh, what's it called? The sword. Hang on, I actually have Luve. a. Hang on, I actually have a scroll for burning hands. That I could have burnt all three of them with. Oh. Okay, he 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 once again is down to one one HP. I, I have a off off offhand. Let me use my offhand. Yeah, so you should. Ninety-five. Be able to off. There okay, we so go. now he's dead, and I'm gonna close in on the third one here, with seven hit points. Yeah, I guess if you kill him, that will let me do a sneak attack. No, on no, someone. no! I I I can't kill him. I have no more actions left. But ah. I'm threat I'm threatening him. So I, I, and, you know, I could instead threaten Gek with my wait. hand. Oh, hand is gone. Oh. The hand is gone. Hand is gone. Okay, well, the ones at the bottom. So one is prone with 19 HP, and there's one with one HP. I'm wondering if all that uh, Gek Cole is going to do is keep casting blindness every turn. Because if so, that's awesome. No, but he, you, you have blindness on you already. So actually, next turn he will hit you. He's well, got... if, if he wants to come running up here with his with the axe in his hand, that's fine. I'm I'm worried right now about novice Garmor. Uh, the guy that's still coming. Yeah, that's yeah. Hmm. But so far, all we have seen from Get Cole is him casting blindness over and over again. Yeah, and he's too far away to hit me with his his melee attack this turn. 
Yeah, I guess so what do I shoot this guy? Or I mean I can't really do a well, I don't have a bonus action anymore because I yeah, so I can't do a sneak attack for sure. I can only do a sneak attack on this reanimated corpse. So let me just take it out, yeah, I guess. Yeah, right? I, yeah, I would I would do that. Now you're not gonna kill it because it's gonna come back up with one point. Oh, is it oh. Which is a dang nuisance, but yeah, you know, I wish, you know, when we hit the hag and, and, and the drow poison had to pass another check because the sneak attack damage was applied, like, after a turn. I wish that happened but now, where I hit him, he went down, yeah. and then my sneak attack got applied after he came back up. But, of course, oh, well. it, that didn't it's happen. It's all right. Yeah. Okay, okay well, I'm going to back up a little bit more here. Do you have movement? Uh, yeah, I got plenty of movement, yeah. I yeah, got, I, I, su go I suggest here. we keep backing up. I can back up, and he's... I'm not threatened. Oh! Can, yeah, break line of sight Wait here. a minute. Yep. Wait a minute. Does he? Does this guy not have opportunity attack? Because he got downed, I he, guess. Because he, he, he just does. came for up. Some, for some reason, it shows me as threatened, but it also shows me when I move. It's not showing the you know the little red yeah yeah like, uh, uh, arrow on the mm -hmm. reticle on the ground. So I don't know whether it's a visual bug where it's not showing me, and it really would get an opportunity attack on me. Another step forward. Okay. Well, I'm moving all the way back. I think, I mean, he'll probably miss anyway, to be honest. Like, you got a ton of... Uh... I, I, I do. I, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna try to move back, and I'm going to be really annoyed with this game if, if he does get an yeah. opportunity, if he gets an attack on me here. Because, again, I'm lo what I'm looking at, it's not giving me the red... red he has notable, red notable features, opportunity attack, and I, I, it's turned I, off. I, Automatically attack. Yeah, he, it's got like a... Yeah, oh, I it's turned. To... Well, then why does it say that I'm threatened? All oh, just because an enemy is close. Threatened okay. is just being being close. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. There we go. Nice. Fair enough. All right. Okay. Well, that's gonna do it for me. Concentration Ooh. invisibility. Okay, that's a that's a concern. Well, that's fine. Because uh, that's sort of all fine. Yeah. Because uh, we we haven't done any damage to him, so he can do Growl. that. Okay, well, yeah, okay. Should, should be done with these. Um, do you want to close in and get him? Well, I again, I've got a 90% to go ahead and finish the reanimated corpse with one point. Yeah, well, you can't shoot, by the way, remember, because uh, okay, maybe you can. Yeah, you, got, you need to because be with, what? because you need to be within three meters. I thought in the blindness. Uh, yeah, no, it ha yeah, it has me moving forward to, to do it. Yeah. Okay, I... that guy has one point as well. I may as well finish him off with my other bonus attack. Do it. Oh. That was dual wielding turned what? on. <laughs> it's Why? not turned <laughs> on. Why? Yeah, you just switched your it's... weapons. It is not turned on, game. I just wasted an attack. Like, yeah. Well, it's fine. It's not. It's not too bad because I can... Yeah, okay, you're standing close to him, so I'll just sneak him right yeah i should it, be able it, to i mean it may not cost me this time yeah but it's, me yet. it's pretty aggravating yeah we're not gonna like double check every single time are we no I, it, it's not turned on i'm looking at it it's not turned on madness madness all right so he's down to three points okay shall i stay back here or run a little bit closer it's up to you, but I'm just going to go ahead and end my turn right here because he would get an opportunity attack on me if I moved. Yeah, I'm actually I'm going to go to the side and hide. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to end in I'll my turn. I'll just stay here and tank as long as I yeah. can. Yeah. Ray of sickness on me. Wizard. Okay, well, it got him out of invisibility. It did, and I. One thing that I can do, even with blindness, is drink healing potions. Yeah, okay, he hit hiding. me. What did he roll to hit me? Five bludgeoning damage. Attack roll, 13. He, 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 he rolled a 20 to hit. I mean, with with the modifiers. Uh, yeah, with the modifiers, yeah. And you so got he gets 19. a plus two for proficiency, a plus three. Oh, it's the plus three for difficulty tactician mode. Mm. Plus Why did you have modifier. 19 AC? I thought you had 21. It's because you got... No, I had 21 when I drank the hate, the potion of speed. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All, All right. right. Well, if you can finish him off, then that will get rid of the vision cone, and I can come out and sneak okay. attack Bo the big bonus guy. Bonus... Okay, it, it did turn back on. I don't have any idea what's going on. 
and turn back, turn dual wielding back on. Okay. Hit him again. Okay, that one's down. Nice one. Plus, we've got Get Cole. I obviously cannot shoot him because he's too far away. Let me see. I'm so I sneak up onto here. Yep, I can get him with a sneak attack as well and an arrow. Okay, that should that'd I, be good. Yeah, what should I hit him with though? A prone? Wait, what's his dex? Fourteen. Is he cut? Is he concentrate? He doesn't have to concentrate on uh, on blindness, I guess. Uh. Yeah, no, he doesn't. Does not. I can't. I can do eighty-eight percent. I can cast. Scroll of Melf's Acid Arrow. Shoot a green arrow that, that basically hits for 60 to, 20, 6 to 24 da uh, acid damage. And 2 to 8 damage at the end of the target's turn. Mm, oh, is it better to just... Let's just do a sneak attack, I guess. Okay, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yep. Don't, don't do anything just yep. yet. Sure, sure. I have a plan... Yes, People sir. who are watching my video are gonna are, are seeing what I'm looking at right here. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna have to be. Oh, Mr. Step. No. Ooh. What did that do? I like it. Though. You have a plus <laughs> one die four bonus to your attack rolls and saving throws. Okay, so shall I hit him with a it's... sneak attack and a piercing shot? A sneak attack and an arrow. Or some spell. Can I hold it? Up to you. No, I have fifty percent to hold him. I guess he's not that threatening. Yeah, I mean, I can always hold him. I can always take the chance I... of fifty without when I'm not sneaking. So I feel like you this know, one... I could charge. I could charge down there, and that you know, I could at least engage him. No, no, I don't want to engage him. Yeah, no. Let, let me let me arrow of ice him. Let me arrow of ice him. He might yeah. fall. He might fall next time that he moves. I would say let's do okay. that. Teleport. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I think I think that's the best. We still have that other drought to sort of worry about, man. Okay. Well, did some 20, damage to him, 21. but he didn't go down. Yeah, twenty-one points. What is these rolls? Wait, latest so. Why didn't he, for example, saving throw against Arrow of Ice? So DC was 12 and he threw 17 plus 2. Fine. If that's how he's going to be, yeah. that's how he's yeah, going to so be. Yeah, so he needed to roll a 10. So a 50-50 chance and instead he rolled a 17. Okay. Fine. I hid okay. and, and hid and, and I'm hiding behind that rock. Yeah, that's I'm going to back up just a little bitty bit because I don't want him to be able to hit me this turn if possible. I'm trying to think, how do you get rid of blindness? Is there any way? Or do you just have to, like, wait it out? Sure. I, yeah, I have no idea. You're the smart one, Fendon. Yeah, I'm trying to get... All of my okay. arcana knowledge he, he, miss. Nice one. He missed, missed me. Ooh, uh, running he away. Oh, he jumped out of ice. Could have jumped yeah, forward, okay. but he's a bit of a coward. All right, the, the other the other one has come up the netting here. He's, he's now on the he's same level. He's sixty-seven as us, HP. This novice Garma. Yeah, I guess at this point we have to prioritize Gek. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, but I think we can. Yeah, it should be like. However, I think I'm gonna drink a couple of minor healing potions with my bonus actions. Yeah. yeah. Or may or maybe one minor and one major, and I'm gonna move down there. Because as long as I'm engaging them down there, you should have advantage to fire in. Yeah, I'm going to move close. Oh, come on. I was right on the edge. Don't give Did me this. spotted? Yeah, I'm like, come on. It's marginal. Oh, Because there's this corpse that... Okay, I'm going to step away two steps. I'm going to hide. Yeah, I still have 99%. Okay, do I hit him with just regular sneak or with another arrow? I I mean, we're really running low on ours, to be honest. I wouldn't. Yeah, we are, and and I think we're okay. I mean, no, I'm gonna do a piercing shot. Yeah, piercing shot. That's it. I think we're probably okay. 
Yeah, we've got gaping wounds although, on him. Although he's still, I mean, and we still have that invisible one to worry about. So yeah, so let's okay, work I'm on gonna this drink, guy. I'm going to drink one potion of healing here. Okay, oh. that was pretty good. I'm gonna drink oh. another healing potion, another minor heal. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's good. That's good. And then I'm gonna go charging down there. And you should have, as long as I'm alive, you should be able to fire down here. Yeah. If they engage me. Plus, every, you know, every maybe, time you hit maybe him the now, one you... with invisibility will attack me now. Yeah, maybe. But if you can do any shooting, well, I guess, yeah, you can't because you got blindness, unfortunately. I... Because every time you oh. shoot him now, he, you do two piercing damage just from my gaping wounds. Oh. Yeah, actually, I have a 70% chance. I guess I am just close enough to be able to do this. Yeah, do it. And I missed. It's fine, 70. Oh, well. It's alive. In Ouch! <laughs> I hope your uncanny dodge is turned on. That time. Is it your uncanny uh, dodge turned on, or have you used it already? I must. I must have used it already. That's. Oh. What? What just happened? He can't even see me behind the rock. He oh, threw some, the, something. Was thrown that, at me. Uh, all right, so that's novice Garmer. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so now we know what the deal is with him. Yeah. Well, I, I'm in a good position because this. Uh, Call Gek jumped there. I can shoot him from all the way up here. I'm pretty sure. In fact, I'm so Holvik is just not doing anything now. Is that right? Yeah, because he doesn't have the an owner. He's just kind of reanimated. Yes, but he, he so he's still alive. He's just not doing anything. Yeah, okay. but he's not hostile. So let's try and finish right, so Gek just... Call. Um, okay. Well, I can close in on him, and I have a seventy percent chance to hit him. Um, yeah, I guess I, w I won't need to hide, but I also can just as easily hide and sneak attack. So I'll definitely sneak attack from up top. And for you... Well, do, you like, want me, do you want to do anything before I close in on him? Um, do I? No, I don't think so. Are you going to, what, like offhand him a few times and do like all sorts of melee damage? Um, I, I was thinking probably of using my two bonus actions to drink more potions of healing. Uh, okay, well, yeah, close in, because th then I will sneak attack because you're close, and then I will hide so that this novice can't uh, attack me. Yeah. <laughs> nice Nine one. points. Yeah. I'm going to come 35. Over 80%. Uh, okay, should work. <laughs> All right. Good he's hit. Down to nine. Good hit. Um, okay, well, I'm just going to hide in open view. where I am. Step a little bit to the side. And that would be me. Yeah, let's see what they do. Yes. He missed me. Oh. And he shoved me. And he knocked me down. Ah, and that way he can uh, run away without an opportunity. Yeah, and then he, then he broke free. Enlarged. Enlarged. Okay. Jump. Gonna attack me. No. Oh, nope. Could, can't attack me. Okay. Yeah, I can finish Get Cold here. Yeah, please do. That would be wonderful. All right, that... Because, I mean, am I hiding? Oh, because these guys see me now. Why did I lose my hiding? Why? Absolutely not. Okay, well, I will hide. And I will sneak attack that guy. Oh, nice. Nice. Very, very nice. So, yeah, and I'm going to run. I'm going to close in, get closer to you, just in case. But that's it for me, really, unfortunately. Um... Okay, the vision cone thing is really weird. It's because of that stupid Holvik over there. I was going to disengage. Well, never mind. I'm not going to be able to get a, a sneak attack anyway, not while I'm blind. Oh, I'm not blind anymore. Because oh, the guy's... Yeah, I guess you pass the check because you do pass a check every time. Oh, okay. So I'm not blind anymore. So, um, yeah, Holvik over there is, is preventing me from being able to move around behind Novice Garmer and get a sneak attack off. That's annoying. Uh, wait, what's what's preventing you from what? Holvik! The, sp the Spore Servant over there, his vision cone. Oh, his vision cone. Oh, okay, that's alright. Actually, I think I can still pull this off. Cunning action disengage. I can move over to here. I can cunning action, hide. Jeez. 
and I'm going to back up a little bit more, I suppose. As far as I can go. Okay, right. good with Thir ten. 13 with a reckless attack. That's okay. So the reckless attack means we have advantage on him. Is he close to you now? So I can just shoot him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you should be able to... Good damage. Yeah, 24. 22. Yeah. Okay. I... Wait, wait, hang on, hang on. I'm going to flourish him with my bonus. Action. I'm going to get in close. One for the... For the tavern tail. Binned and closed in. And set the enemy off balance for two turns. Okay, and I'm gonna actually disengage again. You could have just sneak attacked him because I'm next to him though. Whoa. But he decided to do the double bolt to the chest. Executed. Nice. Yeah, it's an action movie, you know. I did yeah. a. I like to think that I did a roll. Yeah, like you like a, a cart, cart, yeah, cart wheel. and jumped and jumped in the air, you know, and like when, yeah. <laughs> and we're like bam, bam. Nice. And it all happened in slow motion. Of yeah, course. obviously, obviously. Good job. Good job. Okay, we could talk to Holvik. Could I talk to any of these dead people? No. I'm excited. Better find is, is Holvik, to Holvik here, who is a spore servant. I'd like to be able to loot Holvik, so I'm of the opinion that we kill him. Um, could do, I guess. Let's. We could also we talk to him. Blood. Do we want to talk? loot him, don't we? Yeah, I guess we could find this way. Scroll of Vampiric Touch. He's got antidote. He's got the Exterminator's Axe, which does one to seventeen damage and fire damage, but obviously no good to us. I mean, yeah, let's, I mean, do it. Let's just sneak attack and get him. He's only got 30 points. I probably can't kill him in one. Yeah, with two two sneak attacks, we can. Let's just in, do it three, one shot, two, one. But, but, the, but the two of us together. Let's go. Three, two, one. Yep. Oh, sorry. sorry it's already. a fight. The concert. Oh, it's so stupid. <laughs> I think I'm use. Yeah. I hate that little cutscene that it does. Yeah. yeah he's I picked got... a fight. It shouldn't be surprised that a fight is ensuing yeah of course obviously <laughs> so a heavy crossbow dagger leather armor and an arrow of roaring thunder quite nice okay, see it was worth it just for the arrow yeah that's true all right I so i am encumbered we're, so we're at eleven thirty now yeah um how do you want to do this we could go ahead and loot them and then cut let's the episode or uh, we cut i think here. let's 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 loot here and then we'll go back to the myconid place in the next episode okay we we'll okay. just do a little Sounds tidy good. up. Uh, Best be on my way. Hopefully not get pulled into anything. Okay, so the Lurgan has Crawl of Aid, Speak with the Dead, and Chainmail and Shield, which I'm going to give to you since you're... Did you do a save game by any chance? Uh, no. But... Just in case there's a crash, I feel yep. better about save, a save after saved. something like that. Okay, I found a... Uh... A, a log book here. The inside cover reads Burrow Warden Mirna. The pages are lined with new calculations, equipment logs, and expedition notes. The final entry reads Expedition number 42. Back after a 10 day in the northern quadrant, two potential mining sites scouted, discovered a vein of Arendur. Welso did a bang up job, organized shifts, and led the first dig. Brother or not, he'll be a great Burrow Warden one day but he needs to keep his temper in check and practice reading the stone. He is as blind as a surfacer sometimes, planning to take him out later along the Eben Lake to the Eben Lake to practice. Who's okay. he then? I didn't quite catch that. Or do we not know? Uh, let me check again. So, um, Welso <clears throat> is who they're referring to, and Burrow Warden Mirna is who wrote it. Okay. I'm guessing those are gnomes, not not the dwarves, but the gnomes. Yeah, I'm guessing they're all dead. Or oh, is that the, the group that was looking for digging for things here, the one we're helping? Yes. Yeah, so, so some of them are dead, but but maybe not all of them. Maybe not all of them. Okay. I'm gonna try and talk I mean, to. We Glot. know that at least one of them survived. Because we have I'm gonna try to talk to Glot to speak with the dead. Okay. <laughs> 
Alright, so much for that. Yeah, I guess the game does highlight them if there was anything to talk about. Is it worth doing a uh, short rest? Um, I use my piercing shot and everything, so... And, Possible. And I'm, down, I'm down 15 hit points. Yeah, I guess we could. I'm down my mage hand. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, that took the edge off. Yeah. All right. Still, I feel like that could have been much, much worse. No, we did really well. We took barely We, we did damage, reasonably yeah. well there. I think we did, yeah, very well. Okay, I'm sending you some gold, and we picked up an oil of diminution. Coach your weapon in oil. It receives a minus one penalty to damage, but targets failing a constitution save suffer disadvantage on strength checks and saves. They also receive a one die four penalty to melee damage. Okay. So I'm gonna ha hang on to that. I think we already had one of those. I, I think. I think. I either have uh, a scroll of it or some sort of potion. So it's good to have two. I, it's possible I already had one, but it's. Interestingly, I can talk to this shattered pile of bones as a corpse. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. We'll do it. I'm gonna go. What about the executed deep gnome? Oh, hang on. Saving. What creatures live in Could you talk to the executed deep gnome? Hang on. So the game just saved. So I don't want to trigger yeah. something that we're gonna have to. Yeah. Okay. So do we want to cut through the cut here? Or do yeah. We wanna... No, I guess, yeah, let me come back up and we can do the looting and talking and you know, we'll go back and talk to the camp next episode just in case we trigger something. Okay. Uh, as we as we can, you know, it has happened in the past. Yeah. But yeah, yeah I think this has, is, has happened. Yeah, it has happened. All right, then. Well, thanks everyone for watching. We'll make a cut here for episode, what, 39, right? This is... Yep, this yep. is 39. That was exciting. All right, yep. Easy, yep, thanks, another everybody. easy fight. Yep. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you in the next uh -huh. one. Bye.